that indeed had been in the mixed doubles and indeed was the case in the women's singles as well. So the players wait in the wings. The two-time former winner, Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia against the defending champion, Chao Tian Chen of Chinese Taipei. Well, we had a quick look at the destination Dubai rankings. I didn't really have enough time to tell you what else is going to happen. Chao Tian Chen, who's currently at number six, whether he wins or loses today's final, will go up to number five. And that means that Lin Dan, the two-time Olympic champion, will go down to number six. Kashyap Parupali will go up two places from 10 to number eight. And poor old Kashyap Parupali, I was reading in the newspapers that he's possibly going to be out for a couple of months. He tore a calf muscle in his second round match against Rajiv Usif of England. I saw it happen. I watched the match and it did look very nasty indeed. And certainly all of us here, all of the Babington fans around the world wish Kashyap Parupali a speedy recovery. So the players are kept waiting for what seems an age. So we still await the arrival of the players. They will be led out by the umpire, Fabio Beto of Italy, Lawrence Besta of South Africa will be the service judge. So our court officials make their way into the arena first of all. Seven different nations were involved at quarter-final stage of the men's singles. Two players from China. Wang Chiming and Tian Hao Wei. Uh, by semi-finals, as I say, four different nations. Well, I do feel sorry for the players. This is... Uh, an absolute age they're being kept waiting in the wings. And still they wait. Here we go, the countdown. The two-time former champion Liu Chong Wei against the defending champion Chao Tian Chen. Going for an incredible 40th Super Series title. And Chao Tian Chen, the defending champion won his first and only Super Series title here a year ago. Fabio Beto of Italy and Lawrence Bester from South Africa. Well, what a matchup. You could not have scripted this any better. A former champion against the defending champion. Two of the nicest characters in world badminton. Chao Tian Chen, who speaks very good English, always delightful, always makes time to come and speak to us and tell us how he's getting on. Lee Chong Wei, of course, 
going for a 40th career Super Series title. This, unbelievably, is his 57th Super Series tournament final. For this man, it's his second after winning the title here a year ago. Li Chong Wei having turned 33 on Wednesday earlier this week. What a wonderful celebration it would be if he could add a 40th, a record 40th Super Series title to his name. But here is the number six seed, the defending champion, the 25-year-old Chao Tian Chen, up one place in the world ranking this week to number five. This is his fourth appearance here at the French Open and his second final of the year, having reached the final in Chinese Taipei Grand Prix gold. Well, on his way through to today's final, quarterfinal against Enka Long, that was three games. I mentioned that because it was the first ever quarterfinal for Eng Kai Long in the Super Series event. Semi-final, he beat the 2013 winner, the number two seed, Jan or Jorgensen, in two straight games. For Lee Chong Wei, well, the 33-year-old up six places in the world ranking this week to number 19, but he still only has eight tournaments towards that world ranking, so it's not really realistic. He won this title in 2007, beating Bao Chun Lai, and won it again in 2011, beating Kenichi Targo. Of course, he's coming back from an eight-month suspension, but he's already reached three finals this year prior to this, including the World Championship final. And when you look at his list of results so far here in Paris, well, he came from a game and 7-11 down against the number seven seed, Victor Axelsson. He then won 11 of the next 14 points in his quarterfinal against Sho Suzaki and again yesterday in his semi-final against Wang Xiaoming, last year's beaten finalist. He was devastatingly good. He was absolutely loving being back on court. He was full of confidence. And quite frankly, he looked to be enjoying his badminton again, which was just delightful to see. So there are the coaches for Chao Tian Chen. For Li Chong Wei. His coach, Hindra Wan, the former world champion. Well, he's had a magnificent series of super series. This tournament here in Paris is on the back of three semi-final appearances in Japan, Korea and Denmark. So my goodness, suddenly he come to form Chao Tian Chen after a disastrous World Championships as far as he was concerned. He was the number six seed lost in the very first round to Zhu Fadli Zhu Kifli of Malaysia. Well, this is the first meeting between these two players. The public address is still introducing the two players, and they await the start of this Ladies final. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chow Tian Chen, Chinese Taipei. Malaysia. Chao <laughs> Tian Chen to serve. Level play. So the men's singles final, the defending champion nearest to us, Chao Tian Chen, against the two time former champion, Li Chong Wei. Quite unbelievably, this is the first time these two players have ever met. I find that an extraordinary so statistic. One, no. Well, since the inception of the Super Series, no player has ever retained the French Open Super Series men's singles title. 
As I've just said, Lee Chong Wei has won it twice, but no player has ever retained the title. Can this man, Chow Tien Chen, make history today? If he doesn't, then Lee Chong Wei will make history one. because oh. he will have won 40 Super Series men's singles titles. Just long, good judgment. Three, one. Well, Chao Tian Chen in his home Grand Prix Gold event in Taipei had a magnificent tournament, only lost in the final in three games to Chen Long. But in the quarterfinal, he had beaten the world number two, Yano Jorgensen. And in the semi final, he beat Lin Dan, the Olympic champion. So don't underestimate his capabilities. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Lovely placement from Lee Chong Wei. For Lee Chong Wei, quite unbelievably. This is his 89th career final. 89 finals. What a record that is. the previous Three. 88 finals oh. for the record he's won 57 of them this is his 57th super series tournament final i mean those stats are just extraordinary it's gone wide Oh, my word. That's good. Well, I had a delightful cup of coffee in the company of Chow Tian Chen last month when we were sitting at an airport waiting for our flights. And he was telling me how much he has been working on his game. Trying to work specifically on his net play. Well, oh, didn't work on that occasion. And there's no question in my mind, Chiao Tian Chen, four. in general, has improved. And I think there's an awful lot of players that could learn from that. Already a top ten player. He knew he was going to take a step backwards before he could take two or possibly three or four steps forward. And he was prepared to take that decision, sacrifice some short-term success for long-term gain. Good judgment. Service over, 5-0. Service oh, fault service goal. fault called, service struck Six. above the waist. Five. Oh, that's passed. 
his movement back in court, and then the power smash from Lee Chong Wei. Look Seven, at this. Five. Well, the time he's landed, his body weight's coming forward. He's moving forward in court again. Both of these players have got a really potent Five. attack. But both have got a very good defence as well, especially Lee Chong Wei. And I wonder if it might frustrate Chow Tian Chen a little that his opponent keeps getting what he believes would normally be a winning shot, keeps getting it back. Unbelievable. I told you they had good defences. Oh! Oh, my goodness! Well, there's certainly no lack of effort. Unbelievable rally. How did he get that back? Look at that defence from Lee Chong Wei. Thank you. Well, what a start to this men's singles final. coming forward. Where on earth is that speed and good dominance at the front of the court been for the last couple of months or so from Lee Chong Wei? He was always, when he was world number one, very, very quick forward. And he's re-found that. He's not too sluggish going backwards either, is he? five-point advantage at the mid-game interval. Way. Well, I said... I think it was in his quarter-final, or was it his semi-final? He's back to his brilliant best. Certainly reminiscent of the Lee Chong Way of old. You know, it was all just a... A blip, a crisis in confidence, and seconds. then he started to question himself. You don't become a bad player overnight. You're still a great player. But confidence in sport is a fragile, fragile thing. Six. Brilliant. Twelve. 
Yeah, he's been Six. far more proactive than he has in recent tournaments here in Paris. Having got through that second round match against the number seven seed, Victor Axelsson, he's appeared to me to be a different player altogether, Lee Chong Wei. Decision. What can you do against that? Well, the answer is quite simply nothing. Nobody could. Bobber. 14, 6. Yeah, but look how he's, he's getting to the shuttle early at the net. What a difference. Thank you. Indrawan, his coach. Well, this is now 10 of the last 11 points to Lee Chong Wei. It was 5 all, to remember. Six. No, it's 15 6. One of the rare occasions that Chao Tian Chen has been able to get to the net first. Look at that, reaches out, takes it early, forces Li Chong Wei to take Seven, it late. 15. Yeah, the net play in men's singles is crucial. Yeah, and I think it's probably the most important shot in men's singles discipline. Not only so important to get there early and win the battle at the net, but it also gives the opportunity to force your opponent to lift short, and then you've got the opportunity to play the winner. Very rare you can hit a winner from the back of the court without your opponent really putting you under pressure. Oh, it was a nice idea. Look at the control on the movement there. Look seven. how fast the feet are. Oh, the luck of the net cord. 17-6. Twelve of fourteen points now. Oh, that's super. Oh, goodness me, how did he find that angle? Thirty silver, eight, seventeen. Over 
eighteen eight. Good flick serve. Thirty silver. Mm. Couldn't capitalize. Nine eighteen. All good. I wasn't so convinced by that myself. But he's so Ten, far in front. Why waste 18. a challenge? Good rally. Eleven eighteen. Yeah, he has got a very, very potent smash. Eleven eighteen. Play. Oh, yeah. Great reactions. Virtually no backswing of the racket there from Chowty and Chen. A rapid fire exchange. Look at that. That's incredible. No, oh, overdone it. Well, I was running four straight points, and that will certainly give him confidence. Game points have arrived for the former champion, Lee Chong Wei. Well, had that have gone over, I'm not sure that Chow Tien Chen had read it. No, it wasn't moving at all. Opening game to Lee Chong Wei of Malaysia in 19 minutes. 21 13, the scoreline. And he is just getting better and better and more and more like his old self uh, with every game and every match that he's playing. Having the having, we will be playing the fourth final. The women's singles.
for Lee Chong Wei. His coach has left him. Gone to the coach's chair at the back of the court. A couple of quick words. Well, the last Super Series title that Lee Chong Wei won was over a year ago, the Japan Super Series, 13 months ago. Of course, he's had that eight months away from the sport. And in coming back, he, his ranking had plummeted and therefore he wasn't eligible for the Super Series tournaments. Level. Flat. So one game to the good, the former champion, Lee Chong Wei. What can the defending champion do in response? Missed it. Service over, one low. Repeating myself, but that is the neutral way of old, isn't it? Ready to pounce on the net. Judgment just long. Two, pushing Three, his opponent to all four corners one. in that last rally. As if Chao Tian Chen one. is beginning to run out of ideas. Where's the weakness with Li Chong Wei at the moment? Six straight points. Yeah, 
Chow Tien Chen will has tried his attack. That doesn't get through. Tried playing to the net. Lee Chong Wei pounces on that. Just wide. Eight, one. Well, he's a powerful athlete, as you can see from that movement from Chow Tian Chen. He's no match at the moment to the speed of Li Chong Wei. This is a phenomenal performance at the moment from Lee Chong Wei. Hey. Oh, not the longest rally of the match. We had one in the opening game that was 35 shots. Yeah. 11 straight points for an 11-1 lead at the mid-game interval. Lee Chong Wei, the former world number one. Two-time former champion here in Paris at the French Open. And he's making last year's champion Chow Tian Chen look a little ordinary at the moment. And I can assure you Chow Tian Chen is not ordinary at all. 28 minutes for a game and a level one lead. Pull out. Twelve. One. Yeah, and the fans here in Paris are doing their best to try and encourage last year's champion. Even when breaking his strings, he hits the winner. Service over, 13 2. Just tries out the new racket. Thirteen, two. It's gone wide. 
Well, I can tell you, Luca Wade turned round with a little look of annoyance on his face that he made that error. And 13-3 up. So tell you that Lee Chong Wei has just turned round and urged himself 14, on. Three. I can't remember the last time I saw him do that. Thank you. Play. Well, 15, I don't think anybody was doubting Lee Chong Wei's capabilities more than Lee Chong Wei himself. And he's proving a point to himself right here and now in Paris. How dare anybody say the man's finished. Just wide. Oh, well, there's no point challenging that. That's going to be a wasted challenge. That looked definitely wide to me. No, we haven't had a challenge so far in this men's singles. Oh, it looked closer on the replay than I thought initially. Here we go. Oh. No, it was out. Mm -hmm. Two consecutive unforced Five, errors from Lee Chong White. Attack. He's just cruise, cruising to a 40th title now, Super Series title, that is. A Lee Chong Wei. Oh, yes, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was a well-constructed rally. Good movement early to the net and a powerful, accurate smash to end it. Thank 
Thank you. Well, interesting. Well, the court has been mopped of the perspiration. Only Chong Wei staying on court. That's sending a clear message to his opponent. I'm feeling terrific. Yeah, the Malaysian fans are celebrating. Ten point advantage for Lee Chong Wei. Appeared to be a top spin defensive shot there from Lee Chong Wei. That one. Yeah, it was top spin. Extraordinary. Chong Wei toying with his opponent in that rally. Thank you. Thank you. Service over. Eight, Yeah, this is good discipline from Chow Tien Chen. It would have been awfully easy to just give up on this. Nine, I don't 18. think the outcome is really in doubt. But he's still plugging away, he's still wanting to win points. Yeah, good next shot. That's. A sign of the improvement from Chow Tien Chen on his net plate. And the big key is taking it earlier. Does still have a tendency to take it too late in the front of the court. That's in my opinion, anyway. Going for the cross court smash. Oh, clever. Very, very clever from Chow Tien Chen. Five straight points. And is there a glimmer of hope for the defending champion? Good judgment. 
two points away from the title. Li Chong Wei and two points away Nine, from making eight, history. 12. What a great net shot from Chao Tian Chen. Still, he refuses to give in. 13, 19. Yeah. Ah, that was clever play. The body smash aiming towards the right hip of Lee Chong Wei. Look at that. Brilliant net shot. Wow. Can we think the unthinkable? At 17.5, I think it was, I said I didn't think the result of this was in doubt. There is a bit of doubt now. It's just four points in it. as long well this is extraordinary nine of the last 11 points make that nine of the last 10 points it was 18-7 wasn't it This could be one of the greatest ever comebacks if he can t continue. Look at that body smash once again. regretting that rally where he was just toying with his opponent. He ended up losing it. You cannot afford to take your foot off the pedal at this elite level of sport. Would you believe it? the last 12 points.
for two match point opportunities now for Lee Chong Wei. After 45 minutes, and Lee Chong Wei on the verge of victory. career men's single super series title twenty one thirteen twenty one eighteen and an emotional Lee Chong Wei has proved to his fans he's proved more importantly to himself he is still a force to be reckoned with this the final rally everyone around me is on their feet it's a standing ovation for both the players for Lee Chong Wei and his remarkable record and for the fighting qualities displayed by last year's champion Chao Tian Chen their confirmation of the score 21 13 21 18 in 47 minutes well it looked at one stage as if it was going to be a one-sided affair didn't it Again, an 18-7 up, Lee Chong Wei. the prize presentation for the men's singles. Well, that's a nice gesture. All the players thanking the Nine judges and the court officials. Well, 
Chen, last year's champion, this year's runner-up. But he did himself proud today in the way he battled and battled to try and retain his title. It wasn't to be, but look at him, <laughs> a big smile as he receives his trophy and his flowers. Well, he is improving all the time, is Chao Tian Chen. At least a semi final in the last four Super Series events. Open title, a 40th career Super Series title. And remember, the other players on 39 of Super Series titles have done it in two disciplines, a doubles and mixed doubles. Li Chong Wei only in one discipline. It is remarkable. Yeah, that's nice. Quite unbelievable that it was the first time that they'd met, isn't it?
So two finals completed. Next up is an all-Chinese women's doubles. Then we'll have women's singles. And Wang Shexian trying to create history, trying to become the first player in the history of the Super Series to win one particular Super Series title, title three consecutive times. She's up against the two-time world champion. And then we finish with men's doubles. We're looking at the women's doubles Super Series standings. The top six will remain the same after this week here in Paris. The uh, Korean pair of Go Ara and Yu Hae Won will come into the top ten, coming in at number eight, and Ma Jin and Tang Kyuan Ting, who are currently at seven, because uh, they withdrew from this event, will drop down to number nine. Well, there you can see from quarter-final stage the two pairs of sisters. A Bulgarian pair of uh, Gabriela and Stephanie Stoeva. And of course, the pair that we're going to see in the final, Lu Ying and Lu Yu. Three different nations by semi final stage. Two Chinese pairs who both came to the